Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Austin's Daily Show. Today's topic is about the Confederate uh, plate. They just, they were about to do in uh, Texas. You know, my question is, uh, how do you, having your own, uh, having you personalize your own plate, your, how you slave black people, how do you f actually feel about that? How did you come up with that an idea? To have your own special plate to show how much you slave the black people. Come on, you know there are things we have done in our in our lives. Slaving a human being is not something we should be proud of. Uh, black people being treated like a, like a dog, like a, no, you you treated you tra treat a dog better than you actually you know treat a black man. You see. When you sit down and think about what slavery has done to a lot of people, a lot of people has been scarred for life. Some of them is still affecting even the young people of today. Some of them don't want to do anything with, uh, with, with their knowledge just because of the slavery. People have been tormented. You know, When you come up with this kind of idea, think about the slavery ever Whatever happened in slavery was anything that was actually good in it. You rape somebody's wife, you pregnant the woman, you deny the child. A lot of things happen in slavery. And the worst thing you can actually do to a man is rape the wife in front of him and he can't do nothing about it. He will hear the wife moaning, screaming, crying, but he's not able to do anything because he's the master. You know? What makes you the master? You're not God. Do you actually? There is still slavery going on now, now, but the kind of slavery we have these days is, you know, people working hard, being cheated. At least they get paid for it. But that kind of open slavery, where you burn somebody's forehead, put Billy on top of his head as a slave master, it's not going to happen again. We are over that. You know, what about if the shoe was on the other foot? Let's say white people are being enslaved. How would you guys actually feel about that? And the black people would not put a confederate uh, plate saying what they did to the white man. Then who suffered this uh, racism that goes on? You know, you're proud to be KKK, Ku Klux Klan. Why are you proud of it? How do you sleep at night thinking about the havoc you have done to people, how you scar people for life. Throwing it in their face is not going to hurt. Why not let's see each other as one? The only difference is the color of our skin. There are black, there are bad black people. There are, everywhere you go to, there, there's bad in it. Everybody cannot be good, but you thinking about slavering somebody is something you can be proud of. No, that is bad. What about if your son, your daughter, come home tomorrow and say, "You know what, Dad? I'm getting, I'm getting married to this black guy," or any of the minority? How will you feel about it? You send the child to another, disown the child because the child is not following your footsteps. People believe in their own race, white to white, black to black, Hispanic to. People believe in different stuff. I'm kind of proud of my family. But if I take a white woman home, green, yellow woman home, my, the question my parents would be asking me and the lady would be, are you guys making each other happy? Are you guys actually happy? That would be their concern, not the color of their skin. You know? I'm kind of glad that uh, the board in Texas, they actually voted against uh, the plate you guys were trying to get. And I hope you guys should forget about it for life. You know, I know a lot, a lot of people who are there, a lot of KKK are there, they would really love to see uh, slavery is bad. But guess what? It's not going to be in, a, in reality. It can only be in your dream because it's not coming back. There's not going to be an open slavery like it was those days. Okay? It might be your fantasy. That fantasy we can, can never be a reality. Okay? Let's see one another. 
and let's love one another. Okay? That would be a better thing for all of us as all human. You know, we're all human beings. If you actually cut yourself, you have red blood. If I cut myself, I have red blood. There's no black blood or white blood. You know? How did the color of our skin uh, came out? Do we actually, if we look at our history, we look at what happened. The word dictionary is what actually, you know, uh, define the color of our skin. If you want to be technical with it, I am a, a brown man, not a black man. You as a white man, you know white. You know, but that's what it's called because the definition of a white man is what? Pure as a snow. The definition of a black man is the devil. So with that word, black people get that, uh, that name. That's how white people get their, their color too. So let's forget about the word dictionary, how in, uh, humans have been uh, colored. The color of our skin is actually different from what we've been called every time. Okay? Let's stay united. And that is the same thing we're going through today. <laughs> Even the president, as a black man, is not given the opportunity to govern the country well because there has already been a conspiracy. Do you think? Only the, the stupid people will tell you they don't understand uh, why he's not doing what he wanted to do for the country because the thing that actually going on has been a conspiracy for a long time. Whoever governed govern before, the Senate, the senators, they know the things the, man, uh, the president is trying to do now has been something they know was wrong from day one, but they didn't want to do it. But for a black man to come and change all that, that's a, it's like a blow to their face. That's what we're going through. People, let's forget about the color of everybody's skin. Let's be united and become one. Okay? You can... There are some white black people you can't tolerate. There are some white people you cannot tolerate. Let's just mingle. Now let's love one another. So you t like I always say, be open, be open minded towards the show. This is reality. I'm not talking about what is not actually going on. You know? Don't hate me for my accent. I'm proud of my accent. And uh, I hope you guys uh, you know accept my show as uh, warm as you can. Be open-minded towards it. Let's have a tough discussion, you know. America is a land of the free. We should all see each other as free, you know. We, we don't want to enslave nobody no more. So thanks and uh, take care of yourself now. God bless. <laughs>